Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Finn Sports Podcast. I am your host, Rodrigo, and we got a great show for you today. Uh, this is just a quick review of Hard Knocks Episode 3. Um, we're going to talk about what was said and what they're doing uh, in Hard Knocks. And uh, this is basically the video that leads up to uh, the game against the Commanders. Very interesting tidbits. I just want to get you guys my take on the overall episode. I felt like the episode was not like crazy intrusive and it really focused on a few people. Um, I'm noticing that Tua is not one of those folks that are basically haunted on the show they try to get close to him but it doesn't seem like he wants any part of it but let's get into what actually was showed and uh, the first main storyline was van ginkle van ginkle brought us into his home with his met his wife his kids and really followed him through that whole week and then had a phenomenal game against the commanders so Van Ginkle is a guy you cannot root against. You got to be rooting for Van Ginkle because he is uh, just a hard worker, uh, has a lot of potential, a lot of skill. And, uh, you know, he's on a one-year contract. So this is a big year for Van Ginkle. And I'm hoping that he's going to get paid at the end of all this. All right. So Van Ginkle then, you know, Van Ginkle is playing for JP. And then in the video, it talks about signing of JPP, who's won two Super Bowls with the Giants and with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and how he's, you know, kind of adapting to uh, the locker room and to the team. So JPP had a little bit of an intro there, and then it really, like, made us really understand what the preparation it takes uh, for somebody to be dialed in for a game Tua looked locked in in practice he was finishing the drills way ahead of schedule which means that he was getting into the huddle and the plays and what they did against the commanders they had done it during the week and it really showed up in the game so Tua was locked in at one point McDaniels uh, was talking to Garfunkel the the vice president and of the Dolphins, and he told them we're going to get 450. Now, uh, Tua could have gotten at least 400 if he stayed in the game in the fourth quarter against the Commanders. But obviously, it's better to take him out on a big win, let him get some rest, and let's get the rest of those guys to get some game time experience. So the backups got a lot of play in that Commanders game. So it went through that. And then, um, you know, the touchdown celebration, which I posted a short so if you want to see that short, uh, please go to my shorts. And it has uh, the practice of the roller coaster uh, ride so touchdown celebration, uh, which was pretty cool to see in game. They practiced it on Friday and then they actually executed it on Sunday. Um, and, you know, the game, the game itself, as they had the mic on, on the guys, it looked like Van Ginkel was all over the place. Um, really got a good glimpse of, you know, how the guys are talking to each other during the game, picking each other up, um, no letdown anytime. And they're just having fun out there. So props to Hard Knocks. Good show and uh, really, really a good insight into the Miami Dolphins and what could be a historical year. So fins up, hard knocks, good job. We'll see you after episode four with another review here on the Fin Sports Podcast. And if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And in the comment section, if you can tell me what you like best about episode three of Hard Knocks, I would really appreciate it. And again, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Hey, give me the chip, I need the championship. Wait, we got a drink, next to the team, yeah, we can handle it. Wait, as soon as I go and I step in arenas, they call me the champ. They know
know what it 